しいお米がトーントーン On the surface, Tawara Tota appears an unremarkable servant. His active kit is fairly milk toast, a blend of farming and survivability, truly the meat and potatoes, or giant rice bag, of fate's grand order. And he is often outshone by fellow free to play archer Arash, and with good reason, he is truly exceptional. But this is to miss Tawara Tota's true potential. For Tota is best remembered for his slaying of the giant centipede of Mount Mikami that had terrorized the Dragon Palace and subsequent extermination of Oni across Japan. This is borne out in him becoming one of FGO's rare, free to play, anti demonic specialists. Tawara Tota does not stand out. He is oft forgotten and was even Thanos snapped from the Camelot movie. This is reflected in a kit that is very direct, if not exciting. As a wave clearer, the center of his kit is his noble phantasm, Hachiman Prayer, a buster area of effect MP. He can increase its damage through his first skill, Protection of the Dragon King, rank C. In addition to minor healing, it provides up to a 30% buster buff for three turns, a good self buff that links up well with other servants, including fellow three star farmer, Kid Gil. Furthermore, it serves as an excellent bridge to the supports Tota needs to fill his NP gauge to actually launch his noble phantasm. This is because he lacks his own battery or any form of NP gain skill. Together with his buffs and their battery, Tota can become a solid, if unspectacular, wave clearer. He pairs this with immense survivability. His second skill, Protection from Arrows Rank C, allows him to evade two attacks and increases his defense for three turns, all on a five turn cooldown, reflecting impressive instincts and dexterity despite his D rank agility. His third and final skill, Inexhaustible Straw Bag Rank EX, furthers this, in addition to providing some minor team support. It increases the maximum health of all allies by up to 2000 HP for three turns. While basic, this can, in certain situations, be highly useful. However, while each of these skills is fine on their own, together they make a kit that is neither impressive nor particularly underwhelming either. That is, if this was actually all he had to offer. While he appears plain, Tawara Tota hides within his NP a secret. Prior to doing damage, he gains a buff against demonic enemies, scaling with overcharge of up to 100%. And post rank up, this buff lasts for three whole turns, allowing him to do solid and sustained damage against these enemies. This is to the point that on Saber and Berserker nodes that feature demonic enemies prominently, which is not an uncommon occurrence, Tota can take center stage and be the locus of buffs from supports, enabling him to do phenomenal levels of damage. Tota, the legendary slayer of the centipede and only alike, admired even by the likes of Minamoto no Raiko and her heavenly kings, at last shows why he is in the throne of heroes. However, at this point there is an important question to ask. If fighting against neutral class demonic enemies, is he preferable to a servant that possesses class advantage? Well, the answer is honestly that it depends. And in general, I would answer with a fairly robust no. Although the anti-demonic buff has good value and is unique, Tota's damage against neutral class demonic foes is often, at best, only comparable to a 3-star servant possessing class advantage. There is a possibility that buff stacking on him can help him do greater damage, as the rare anti-demonic buff stacks multiplicatively with other buff types. However, this requires a great amount of investment when it's likely better served going into a servant with class advantage. So does this make Tota a complete waste of time? Absolutely not! On the contrary, he's a solid farmer who specializes against demonic enemies, and on those nodes where there are demonic sabers or berserkers, of which there are many, including in the 7th Singularity and Pseudo Singularity 3, he can be an absolute monster. There are no other free-to-play servants boasting an anti-demonic area of effect noble phantasm, and the only other free-to-play anti-demonic servant is a welfare who's no longer available in the form of Shuku Doji. No! 
this gives Tota a uniqueness, an individuality that surely disproves his status as a boring servant. And while he clearly isn't the greatest, he definitely deserves more credit and attention. If you want to try a servant you may not have even given a glance to before, then give Tota a go. Because in truth, he is also unique in another sense. He defeats his enemies with rice. I've been seeing news, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos, such as my recent review of Mata Hari, an extremely underrated one-star servant. I've been seeing news, and thank you for watching.